Howdy everyone, NETV here with some more Pokemon Uranium. Last episode, we went through Route 11 and fought some wild nuclear Pokemon and saved some regular wild Pokemon and some people. And before I head over to Rockvale Town, Rockvale City, because we can use strength near there, if my memory is correct, um, while I was depositing some Pokemon into the PC, I saw Theo right over here. So yeah. Looks like you're back from helping the rangers out, huh? Wish I could have helped. My Pokemon are strong enough, but I guess it's good people are safe anyway. I'm gonna stick around Legend Town a bit longer. I just I just got HMO4 strength from a weird fat guy in the house over there. <coughs> <coughs> Coughing is a thing. Yep, I have strength. Gotta t uh, you gotta take the train back to Burl and move the rock that's blocking the way to Bay Call Rainforest. Okay, I guess that's what I have to do, but optional things yeah you go um you go beat sheldon you go get your fourth badge i am gonna go over to rockvale town and i'm gonna use some editing magic to cut exploring through route 9 because it's just it's gonna save time that way so i will see you in yeah okay back here in route 6 also i like how route 9 has like the little eterna forest effect when you're going through it but um this will take us straight back to Rockvale Town. Oh, wild Pokemon. Okay. There's going to be some wild Pokemon here, but I might as well show us going through 6 because it has been a while since we've been here. Might as well uh, go through Memory Lane, right? And besides, it doesn't seem like it's that big of a route. Or that long of a route when you're not trying to complete everything. Because, see, we're like right... We're back here in the uh, Rockvale City Town. Rockvale Town. And it does have the awesome Sand Gem Town music as well. Which is always a nice plus. But if I remember correctly, there is a cave entrance around here. I think it's over here. Or it might be further south, I don't know. Um, wild Pokemon? Nope. There should be a cave entrance. Yep, there it is. Is this the one I'm thinking of? Um, okay, we're back in Comic Cave. Yes! Okay, then. Let's use Strength. I taught it to this Fladger that I'm not going to be using. Oh, who's this? Back off, these are my specimens. Okay, then. Sorry. Oh, let me grab this item first, and there's fossils here! Okay then, I like fossils. Um, okay. I'm probably gonna have to fight you for these fossils, right? Or one of them. This one looks nearly preserved. This must have been the remnants of a lava flow carved out by the ocean. I can see the impressions left by its fur. What are you doing here? This is a very important discovery in the field of paleontology, and it's mine! Okay, I did sort of follow you here. I'll tell you what. If you can beat me in a Pokemon, Pokemon battle, I'll let you take one of these fossils. Okay then. And Cool Trainer Indiana. Is this supposed to be like an Indiana Jones reference? Oh yeah, I forgot to heal at the end of the last episode. That's a thing. Oh well. Nothing a good old Switch can't handle. Okay, that's... Uh, Rallus looks like... You'll be the best for this. I wonder what the fossils are. Okay, Psybeam. Looks really weird, but really cool. No, I don't want to switch again. I want to burn this thing. I want to boil it alive with some hot water. Actually, uh, Scald was called boiling water in the Japanese version of the games when... Yeah, I think that's what it was called. I might be wrong on that, but... Oh well. Um, Azula, you can... Continue... To get some experience, because you, you do need to catch up. Um... Hmm... I'm not gonna... Uh, do I want to risk it? Nah. Uh, Lord Genome, you can... You can fight this thing, why not? Okay then, 
feint attack. Okay, I made the right choice at least when it comes to switching. And an earthquake should be more than enough for a Sableye. Oh, a Sableye. Remember when Sableye used to have no weakness? I remember. I mean, now it's weak to fairy types. Drill gone. Oh! Is this a mirror match here? Yeah! Gonna prove that mine is better. Just because mine is better. You're using a rock slide, really? Okay then. Um. Drill pack. With a drill that will pierce the heavens. Except, no, it won't. Okay then, my fossils, my fossils now! Human Fair and Square, these fossils are two kinds of mammal Pokemon that lived 50,000 years ago. The first was known for its lightning fast strikes, and the second had the strength and power of a mighty glacier. Um. Let's go with the glacier. Yeah, that works. If you take the fossil to the lab in Rockfield, they have the technology to bring it back to life. Okay then, you stay. You you stay in here. Forever. I am gonna go restore this fossil. Okay, uh, Azula gained a level from that fight. That's noteworthy, I guess. But yeah, let's uh, restore this fossil, because fossils are cool. Actually, I really like fossil Pokemon. I remember uh, back in, uh, back when I was like in middle school, I made a, a, a deck on fossil Pokemon. Wasn't that good of a deck, really, but still, it was really neat. Okay, so let's go to the lab, and also heal up. Okay, I healed up, and let's go restore our fossil. Really curious what kind of Pokemon this is. Okay, here is my fossil. Um, I have to actually go in the menu for this. Okay then. It is... Where is it? Um... Here? Yeah, Tusk Fossil. Okay then. Fossil of an ancient Pokemon that lived in the plains. Okay then, created life. We got snow patch. Um, sure. Oh, actually, I really like this thing's design a lot. Ooh. So I'm gonna guess it's rock ice. Okay then, I think I have a nickname for this. Okay, so after after looking up to make sure I spelled it right, I am naming the snow patch Laufey after. The Frost Giant King from Thor, and just Norse mythology in general, but I, I like I like the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. So uh, yeah, we got Laufey here. Ooh, you have a 31 IV in attack, and you're a new team member, because I really like this thing's design a lot. It reminds me a lot of Fampy, which is actually uh, one of my favorite Pokemon. So yeah, I think Fampy is like somewhere in my top five. So you are now part of the party, and I need to train you up. Also moves. Okay, all I really did was just give this thing rock slide, but yeah. Also, that's not the Pokedex. I want to see this thing's Pokedex entry, because I am very interested in reading these. I, I do that a lot, actually. I like to read the Pokedex. I, I actually... <laughs> I remember uh, there was one time I read all of the Pokedex entries in Platinum just because I had like the free time and I can play the National Pokedex in that game, so. Pokemon that roamed the tundra thousands of years ago. These are small tusks to dig up berries and root under the uh, roots under the ice. Okay then. Well, with that done, I am going to meet you back in Legend Town. So, yeah. Okay, I'm back here in Legend Town. Let's, um, before I take the train, because that's what I'm going to be doing, I, I remember the Tinkerer is a person here. Can you do things? Nope. He gave me the boxing gloves, which I suppose is, like, supposed to be the, the Rock Smash replacer. But, uh, yeah, we're going to ride the train here. 
Okay, so... Um... Burl Town. Now Talk City. Um... Hmm. Yeah, let's go to Burl Town. That, that seems like a good place to go to. And... Do we get to see, like, a little cutscene here? No? Okay, then. Okay, then. Well, it's been a while since we've been back here. And... Yeah, actually... Uh, how, how are we doing on Pokedex progress? 51. And how far are we? From... Okay, it's a route away. So you know what? I... I'm actually gonna head back over to Moki Town where we started our adventure. Once I figure out where I'm going, because uh, the professor, he probably has some rewards for us based on our Pokedex progress, if I remember correctly. I think he did that before, so I'm gonna see if he has any rewards. And if not, then um, I will just do some editing magic and I will meet you back here. Oh yeah, boxing gloves. Let's show that off. Okay then. Well, back home in Moki Town. Only for a little bit though. Just to show off our Pokedex progress. And yeah, let's see what it's like. Also, I have to sneeze. Come on, don't sneeze. Don't sneeze, Ralph. Okay, Professor, what do you got? Let's see here. 85 Pokemon seen and 51 obtained. Okay then, we got a PP up here. When you catch 30 Pokemon, I have over 30. I have 50. Um, okay then, it's worth it to check in the morning, the afternoon, at night. Ooh, Substitute TM. Okay then. Substitute is a pretty handy move competitively. 50, okay then. 50 Pokemon, and my reward is... An egg of a rare Pokemon. Really? Ah, uh, okay then. Okay, I'm back here in Kevlar Town. I haven't deposited uh, my HM user yet, but... If I remember correctly, there's a bike shop here? And I have the bike wheel. Um, I have a bike wheel, yes. Okay then. So, am I going to get a bike for this? Yeah. Cool. Okay then, let's uh, show off the bike. Since we're here, but also, as I was heading into the Pokemon Center, I noticed that there is a Strength Boulder around. Where's the bag? There it is. Okay, key items. Let's use the bike. Cool. Okay, Strength Boulder. Let's see what you're about. Okay, so in here is another part of Passage Cave. Let's uh, put the bike away. And what's... Oh, there's bikers here. The Dunsparce Gang territory. Oh, okay then. The Dunsparce Gang. Okay, then. Weird, but... Sure. I don't think I'll be using Azula for a while, just because I'm gonna give this screen time to Laufey so he can catch up. Or is it Lofi? I don't know how to actually pronounce it. Because it's been a while since I've seen Thor 1, where they actually do pronounce that name. But, whatever. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Laufey. Yeah, we have a gang here full of people that use this Dunsparce. Uh, okay then. Well, this is still good experience for everyone. Everyone is gaining levels like crazy. You have an Arbok, that's not a Dunsparce. And even though Dunsparce is the land snake Pokemon, it doesn't evolve into Arbok. Trust me, I know Dunsparce doesn't evolve. I remember um, when I was playing through Gold, or maybe it was silver. Um, I remember I caught a Dunsparce very early on. This was like 
my third or fourth playthrough of the game, and I remember, actually, for the longest time, like, because Dunsparce's Pokedex entry, like, the spot right below it is Gligar. Okay, so I was playing Silver then. I was, yeah, I was playing Silver at the time, and because Gligar is a version exclusive, and it's not in Silver, you don't get to see his Pokedex entry, and it's not registered as seen in the Pokedex anywhere, so... For the longest time, I thought Dunsparce evolved, so when I was trying to complete the Pokedex, I kept the Dunsparce with me and my party throughout the pretty much the entire game, and when I when I got over the Kanto, I had a Dunsparce that was like in the high 60s, and I I didn't know why it wasn't evolving because its friendship was maxed out. It was at a high level, and yeah. It wasn't evolving, and then, and then my friend showed his copy of gold, and I was like, "Oh yeah, Gligar is a Pokemon. That's a thing." So yeah, whenever I see a Dunsparce, I'm reminded of the fact that I trained one up to level 60 when I was a younger child, and yeah. Stop! No, Laufey isn't battle ready yet. Not no battle ready armor here. But I uh, yep. Yeah, that's my fourth playthrough of Silver. Actually, fun fact: I got a Gold version first, and it was actually stolen from me, which is a shame. But whatever. Actually, I've had all. Th Three Generation 2 games. I've had both uh, both Gold and Silver, and I also had Crystal. Silver was the one I spent the most time on, though. So, yeah. Also... I'm pretty sure my, my copy of Silver was stolen as well. Ooh, Ice Shard. Perfect. Yeah, I had a lot of my games stolen when I was a kid. My first copy of Sapphire was stolen. Um, my copy of Yellow wasn't stolen, it was it actually melted, which is a story for another time. But, uh, yeah. My history with owning Pokemon games when I was a younger child, younger person. Not the best. Kinda sucks, though, but oh well. Oh, do we have a strength puzzle here? We do. I wonder what the item that's going to replace strength is. Also, that's a nice little strength noise there. Um, sorry I made him cry, but... Yeah. Before you did, get him Dunsparce. Uh, the Dunsparce gang. That's right. This episode is just doing a whole ton of optional stuff, isn't it? Not that I mind. Okay, so... Let's switch over to Rallus here. Got a good old, uh, not Spark, Scald. Okay then, let's see. Take down. You're not gonna try to abuse Serene Grace with Headbutt, Glare. What else can Dunsparce abuse with Serene Grace? What's Dunsparce's other ability? Is it Guts? Is it Hustle? I really don't know. Okay, Rallus, you're gonna be out of commission for the rest of this battle, because Yawn is a thing. But, again, Luffy is getting some pretty good experience here. Sableye. Okay then. Wonder what level Luffy is gonna be by the end of this. Also, our team is almost done here. We're only missing one Pokemon. Really curious as to... What's going to be the last team member? Um, Lord Genome, you can fight this. Also, at the end of this episode, I might do some grinding just because Laufey needs to get caught up. And also, Azula needs to catch up on experience as well. Okay, Earthquake, even though it's probably n uh, not a good idea to use Earthquake inside a cave, but... Oh well, it's for... It's for... It's for victory. It's for the sake of winning this battle. 
Okay then. Modril. Uh, Laufey, you can come back and get some experience, but then Lord Genome is gonna show who is the better driller here. Oh, Modril. Really like this thing's design a lot. Not as cool as Drillbird's design, or Excadrill's design, but still really cool. Metal Claw? Eh. Okay, let's, um... Yeah, let's use Earthquake. I wonder what what's a better dark type move that Lower Genome can use. Can it learn Crunch? That'd be nice. Topharang, that's the weird bat thing, right? The evolved form of Tonomy? Tonomy? I don't know. Jeez. It's like a hippo bat. Okay, let's um, switch back to Lord Gnome, because you have Rock Slide. Wait, no, this thing has Intimidate, so... Uh, is it part Flying type? I doubt it. I'll try it. I mean, it's on the ground, so it can't be a Flying type, right? Even though it has, like, the tiny eyebrow wings. Nope, not a Flying type. Cool. Ooh, this is probably going to give a lot of experience. Eh, decent amount. Okay, I, I feel bad. I'm making all of these people cry. Okay, let's um, heal you up, first of all. And I have a lot of super potions. Probably, gonna, probably not going to need them, but still. Okay, let's see. Oh, guess we're at the end here. I'm missing your big stuff, walking in here, making grown men cry. No, I feel bad. Then uh, the Dunsparts gang, we run this corner of Tantor. The life of a gang member is tough. Fighting the police, protesting the environment, cleaning up litter, helping old ladies carry them in for our Dunsparts. Um, you actually sound like pretty swell people. I, I don't want to fight you. Or I, I don't want to make you cry. I mean, there's nothing wrong with... A little battle for friendly competition, but yeah, I feel bad making the other two people cry. Uh, let's see, Rallis, you can fight this thing, I guess. Okay, Dunsparce, do your thing. Ooh, it can actually um, kind of make use of the ancient power boost here if it had Serene Grace, because it goes from like. I think Ancient Power has a 10% chance of boosting your stats, so Serene Grace would make it a 20% chance. Pretty sure it's a 10% chance. I actually don't remember. My memory is pretty bad, and there's a lot of moves to remember as well, so... Can't blame me for not knowing. Drillgon. Okay, we'll have a mirror match here. Oh, I forgot to switch into Luffy, but... Whatever. Whatever, Drillgon can... Can go down to mine. Knocked out, of course. I have a 5 level advantage. Dunseraf? Seraph? Dunseraf? What? What is... Is that supposed to be like, a Dunsparce evolution? Really? 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 <laughs> That's kind of funny. Especially since I was just talking about earlier in this episode how I thought Dunsparce had an evolution. So, it, it kind of does. At least in this game, it has a fake evolution. But still, that's kind of funny. So what is this thing? Normal flying? Okay then. Okay then. I'll take it. Skyfall. Okay then. It's an interesting attack. Oh, hello. Okay, not cool. And you have leftovers. 
interesting. Okay, I, I can... I can mind being paralyzed. That's not a problem for me. But... I'm fighting a Dunsparce evolution. That's... Hilarious to me. Okay then. Rock slide. I might actually be having some trouble here. Ah, uh, really? Really? Wait, how many of these do I have left? Um... Hmm... Hmm... You know what? Sure. Full restore, even though I'm pretty sure this thing is going to paralyze me with another Skyfall here. Right. Yeah, is that like a guaranteed paralysis? Or is it just getting like a Serene Grace boost off this? Jeez. This is crazy. Okay then. Uh, sorry, Lord Genome, but you're gonna have to bite the bullet here. Because... I... Where's... There's my full heals. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna resort to using Rallus for this. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. Sorry, Lord Genome. Jeez, I was not expecting an evolution of Dunsparce of all things to give me trouble, but... Here we are! Okay, Spark. Super effective. No? Not super effective? What? What is this? It's part flying, because... Is it part dragon? What? I am so confused. I guess it's dragon flying. Okay then. Okay then, oh mighty Dunsparce evolution. Okay then. You just knocked yourself out. And you have Tyrokes cry for whatever reason. Okay then. Yeah, sorry, but that was actually a fun battle. Okay then. It's got about 2,000 inside and a few expired coupons. Was this really what he was crying about? Who? Who was crying about what? I don't know. I don't know what that was all about, but, um... Is there, like, someone here in town that was crying about something? You? No? Someone is probably crying about something here. You? Um... I think this is the person. But I'm not trained in that part of past features to hang out of a bunch of thugs that call themselves- Yeah! Okay, I, I got your thing back. Oh? Okay then. And I was supposed to just go, like, deposit a Pokemon and get an egg. This is, like, the biggest, like, I got sidetracked in a sidetracking episode. Okay. Um... Crying can get people to do whatever I want, I'll have to do that more often. Oh wow, you're um... You're a jerk. Um... Yeah, you're a jerk. Okay, well anyways, I am gonna meet you back in um... Bamboo Place, the lab.
Well, got the egg. Cool. 75 Pokemon is our next milestone reward here. How close is this egg to hatching? Uh, not that close. Okay then. Well, I'm gonna meet you back in um, Burl Town then. Okay, I'm here in Burl Town. And I'm just gonna quickly head over to where I need to use strength, because that's a place that we need to go to. So, yeah. Should be over here in Route 4. And I don't know where in Route 4, but... Should be, like, somewhere around here. Somewhere I need to use strength. That's all I'm looking for. Is it this way? Oh, right over here. Here, yes. Okay then, let's uh take a. L oh, I don't have strength. That's right, because I I'm carrying the egg around. But um, yeah. With that done, we got ourselves a fifth party member here. Really quickly after we got our fourth one, but uh, yep. I'm gonna end it off here, and I'm probably gonna do some off-screen training just so Laufey can get a little bit caught up, because what she's he is level six, level fourteen, which is sixteen levels behind Azula, who is six or seven levels behind everyone else. So, yeah, some off-screen, uh, off-screen training should rectify that, and also that that's gonna give some time for the egg to get some steps to hatch. So, yeah, I'll end it off here, and. See y'all next time for some more Pokemon Uranium. Later!